Welcome to the Mayor's Town Meeting on Education. The question we raise here is what can be done to assist the Cleveland Public Schools? And uh, the individuals who would like to do that are present in large numbers. Seventeen candidates for the Cleveland School Board. And you'll hear from each of them today. I'm Larry Robinson, co-chairman of these forums with the Reverend Marvin McMichael. These meetings are free, they're open to the public, they take place at the City Club at East 9th and Euclid at uh, downtown Cleveland. And your course you're invited to attend every Monday. You can uh, call for reservations at 463-3900. You may order lunch if you wish, but that's not necessary. We have some very interesting forums coming up. On October 14th, today, you'll hear from all the school board members, as I indicated. On October 21st, James M. Carney, Jr., school board president. Now, that will not be sponsored by the Mayor's Educational Forum. It'll be sponsored privately. October 28th, Monday, Mayor Michael R. White, also under private sponsorship, will be speaking. And that's my birthday. You can bring contributions to any, uh, any cause to assist the Cleveland Public Schools. November 4th, Monday, we have Ted Saunders, superintendent of schools in the state of Ohio. And each of these speakers, I think, will be very interesting and well worth your attending. So, for reservations, call 463-3900. Today, uh, let's begin by hearing from Reverend Richard McCain. Uh, he represents Cosby, and he will tell you who they are. They've done a marvelous job in... Um, <laughs> ...many respects, and uh, the Reverend will tell you about it. As Mr. Robinson said, Cosby has been working on the school board election for some time now and we're concerned that uh, we work together to elect those who are qualified to our Cleveland School Board. Cosby exists for the purpose of educating the public with regard to those who are running. We are not here to endorse anyone. We are not controlled by the mayor or by the uh, City Club uh, Mayor's Forum. We work independently and are concerned only about educating the public with regard to the candidates. We are encouraging you as you see the candidates to look at their qualifications to lead the Cleveland Public Schools. To be concerned not just about name, not just about endorsement, but about the qualifications that these individuals have to lead the Cleveland Public Schools. Today, we have 17 candidates that are with us. We are going to give them each about three minutes to come before you at ju just one time. As they come, they will be asked to address three questions that we are giving to them. We're asking them to answer those questions in that time, and the questions are based primarily upon those things that will help us to understand more of their qualifications to serve on the Cleveland Board of Education. Those three questions are, number one, categorize your recent voluntary involvement with the Cleveland Public Schools prior to your announcement as a candidate. Would you consider it considerable, moderate, slight, or virtually none? Please explain that involvement. Number two, the Cleveland School Board has been known for controversy and confrontation. Are you prepared for confrontation with board members or with the superintendent to stand up for something you feel strongly about? And how would you deal with it? Number three, the election is over and you have been elected. What do you feel is the first issue the board should address and how would you go about addressing it? Those are the three questions we are asking the candidates to address this morning. We're going to take them now in uh, alphabetical order, uh, basically, as they come, and then each one will be given one opportunity to answer those questions. Thank you, Thank you Reverend McCain. The Mayor's Forum also um, is here to present candidates. We endorse no candidates. It's up to the voters, of course, to decide. The uh, first speaker <coughs> will be Guy Templeton Black. Mr. Black. Thank you very much. As the uh, 
invited candidate for the uh, Cleveland Public School Board. Uh, I was a VISTA youth advocate worker and worked with uh, the Lyria school system and back and forth. Uh, that was in 1977. The, uh, I was injured in 1974. Did you get the first question? Okay. I, was, I was injured in 1974 as an as a, uh, employee of the Cleveland Public School Board, eye injury, face injury. And I have yet to uh, file workers' comp, and I have yet to get my uh, uh, legal uh, due from workers' comp. Uh, I think that's the the, height, the classic case of corruption, um, and uh, because I'm a political social activist, and I think a lot of people that are, are injured or end up physically or mentally challenged because of workers' comp uh, injuries or workers' injuries don't get their due as we as we read the uh, papers and listen to the media um, I think uh, society prepares the crime and and, and uh, the criminal commits it Cleveland School Board uh, and, and the system prepare the crime that the youth are committing um, I, I would certainly advocate uh, natural organic foods for uh, students and teachers unrefined foods so they could uh, think better and act better, homeopathic remedies. Uh, I will, I will uh, actually uh, cause a course to be taught that other species are equal and, but different and should not be eaten or killed or murdered or tortured or no research experiments. When we, uh, uh, when we stop human suffering, uh, the only way we can stop human suffering is to stop other species suffering. Uh, I believe that... Uh, uh, all, all persons are born geniuses and are degenerated de by the system. Uh, we, I discovered and sent a media release that the Cleveland Public School Systems has manufactured school units over $100,000. These units cost $20,000. We're selling them, Quest Incorporated. Uh, they're earthquake proof. Uh, they can replace the, uh, the uh, buildings that are costing millions of dollars in upkeep, etc. The Catholic schools and private school systems use these. Uh, you know, the, the buildings now are unsafe, as we read. Uh, minorities are taught their minorities aren't taught their true history because of the white-controlled school systems, i.e., intellectual dictatorship. Uh, as we see, Judge Thomas, uh, grassroots activists like myself have been harassed for for years, shot at, attempted fire bombings, over a hundred police reports. And uh, so we, I, I just need all the support you can get. Thank you. Thank you, Guy Templeton Black. Norbert B. Carson. Good evening. 